My name is Kuhn, and welcome to my house dance for clubs, electronic dance music level two program. In level one, we covered many basic house dance steps and adapted many moves for clubs. In level two, we're ramping it up faster, stylish house dance steps, while still keeping the steps useful for all kinds of club music. EDM or electronic dance music is incredibly popular in the clubs these days. And if you love the music like I do, then you'll want to go beyond just rocking your body and throwing your hands in the air. You'll want to move. I have to confess, being able to dance to your favorite song will only elevate your appreciation and experience of the music even more. Okay, so I dance a lot of styles, and I found that there isn't an exact dance style for EDM, which is great because it leaves it open for interpretation. However, I found that house dance mixed with some club dance and some moves from other dance styles is a perfect fit. House music in all its forms, deep house, tech house, tribal house, disco and funk house, and progressive house in particular, form the foundation for many of the other styles of EDM, such as top 40 dance, euro, electro, techno, trance, and rave. As in level one, I'll cover two styles in the program. First, there's the club dance style, which usually involves smaller moves and works well for clubs and parties. I'll also cover the classic house dance style, which is more dynamic, more footwork intensive, and covers more space. It's good for house music venues, raves, and if you just want to learn house dance and have fun. Some moves can be styled for both styles, while others work better only in clubs or left as a, alone as a house dance move. So, let's talk about level two now. We drilled the basics in level one and got you moving. Now, in level two, we'll build with more basics while stepping it up with more interesting footwork. I've chosen a set of core dance moves that work great for all club situations, and also added a few classic house dance moves. We'll focus on the basic footwork pattern first to get you going. Next, based on what I found works for students, I'll cover body and head movements in separate lessons. Finally, we'll work on combos, transitions, and full song practices since individual dance moves alone get repetitive and don't really form the dance. In level two, the footwork is more intense, but I've got you covered. Besides breaking down the moves in an understandable fashion, I also have slow practices, medium practices, and when you're ready, club speed practices. Because the footwork is trickier, I'll be using multiple angles for my explanations this time. Some moves are shown on the side, while some practices I'll show front facing, as well as facing away, so you can copy me. I found that for more difficult moves and combos, students find this easier to follow. I also use a split screen with close-ups in the practice this time around, so you can follow my footwork better. In addition, I put more than a disc's worth of bonus lessons online, which is included with the program. How Stands for Clubs and Electronic Dance Music is available today, so visit pickupdance.com to check it out.